Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. <laughs> Join us! Join us. Join us. Join us. Won't you join us? <laughs> back to the channel thank you for joining me today um, okay so as you can see I have some palette knives out here these are gonna be used for swiping I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use so we're just gonna have them ready there's gonna be no hair dryer in today's video we are doing a pour inspired by Molly from Molly's artistry if you haven't um, heard of Molly I'm sure you have <laughs> check I'll link her um, channel in the description box under this video she has been doing her last few uploads she's been doing these really cool like uh, ring pours and then she layers some colors on top of the ring pours and swipes over it with some um, like cell activator uh, with Australian flow trot I believe she's using and um, a color we'll go over all that in just a second um, but and also if you're new to my channel and you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new acrylic pouring videos or fluid art videos. Um, it helps my channel grow and um, gets fluid art in general just out there to more people who um, haven't discovered this art form yet. So let's spread it. Um, okay, so I'm working on a 20 by 16 inch deep edge canvas. My paints are, are mixed up just like I do with my Dutch pour and my straight pour paints. However, I'm adding less water to keep them a bit more thick. So if you want to see how I mix my paints and my pigments, check the mixing video. Um, it's linked down in the description box just under this video. Same way I've mixed my paints, I'm just mixing or I stopped adding water to a certain point because I want the paints to be thicker because we're not using um, the hair dryer today to blow the paints around. So again, it's my same how I mix and it's nice and easy and not confusing. So we'll go over my colors and kind of just go really quick how what we're gonna, you know, the process today. So these three colors in the larger cups here are going to be for my ring pour, or it could turn into a ring pour, jiggle pour, wiggle pour, straight pour, messy pour, whatever. We're not, we're just going to kind of go with it. But I will show you, let's pick this one, you'll probably be able to see the consistency better. I will show you the consistencies first. So these are the paints that I'm going to layer in my cup for the ring pour. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So I these are mixed the same way for my other paints. I just stopped adding water sooner so they are thicker. So it's like a mound. You know, let's do our figure eight. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so these larger cups are going to be for the ring pour. So I have a pearl metallic uh, blick studio acrylic and i've added in just to tint it a little with some van dyke brown by amsterdam and that's just kind of turned this into like a cream light sand color okay and that's nice and thick as well so that's that one um the first one i showed you was copper by amsterdam which is this here. And then this is Oxide Black by Amsterdam as well. I mix this with the Copper as well by Amsterdam and the Australian Flood Floetrol. And I mixed it 
not doing ratios. I just mix it until I got that consistency. So it's nice and it's pretty much almost like my Dutch pour consistency. Maybe it's had thicker, but anyway, so that's what I have there. And that is made with this copper by Amsterdam and the Australian flow trawl. Everything else is mixed with USA flood flow trawl. And I have um, some golden gloss gel in here for my pigment. And again, you can see how I mix those in my mixing video. We're not going to get into that today. So the process is going to be, we are going to layer my cups, do some wiggle jiggle, ring pour, straight pour, not sure yet, onto this canvas. We are not going to stretch it quite yet after that. And then we're going to, um, after we've poured our cups, we are going to layer those three um, in some way on top of the ring pour. And we're going to take that cell activator and put it on one of these palette knives, swipe over the colors, the gold, the Van Dyke brown, and the black. Then we're going to stretch, tilt, see what we get. I have two cups here, and we are going to layer two cups the same way. Maybe, we'll see. So let's start off with this like sand color, cream color at the bottom. And let's go for some black. I'm going to kind of pour on the side of the cup if I can, just to layer these. So they don't kind of mix too much. And then feel free to fast forward this part. Maybe I'll speed it up. Maybe I won't. Copper. We'll just try and go fast. And just let's go back around. Now would be a good time to speed it up. There's one and I'll do a little jiggle, a little jiggle pour. All right, I can't wait to get that gold in there. Hopefully this turns out nice. Okay, let's get my torch, pop some air bubbles, check that out. Lots of air bubbles, because I did just mix these paints, so. Now let's get the colors laid down. I'll probably pour some more paint on the outside, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the same order as I did on a previous painting. We're gonna do gold and Ooh, wait, no, stick with the plan. Okay, so let's do, now I'm gonna kinda do a line. We're gonna start, I'm gonna try and keep some in case I wanna do another swipe. And then we're gonna do the Van Dyke Brown. Okay, and then the black. 
Oh, I hope this turns out heavy on the black. Okay. Now I'm going to swipe and I'm wondering Oh, I don't know. It was too big, maybe. Okay, we're going to go with this guy. And so we'll get these out of the way. I'm going to keep them close because I need some of them little ones. Get that out of the way. I'm going to pour my cell activator on this little piece of paper that I have here. Okay, whatever we don't use, we'll just scrape in, but we'll probably use most of this. So I'm just covering my palette knife, letting the excess drip up. Okay, and so there's my cell activator. It's the Australian Flood Flow Traw in copper. And now we're gonna hope for the best. Okay. Rope, don't pour that on my... <laughs> I almost just like wiped it through. That's what I didn't bring. A cloth. I needed to replenish my cloths. Oh my goodness. That's cool. <sighs> okay. I hope I don't have too much copper in here, but hopefully when we stretch it around, some of the black will come out. Um, however, I'm thinking I'm going to put some more... My copper all kind of sunk, but I still have some lacing in there and some cells popping up. Cool. I'm probably going to put some black down first. Um, uh, let's kind of try to cover up some of the copper because there's a lot of copper in there, I feel. And I kind of want to cover some of it up. I want more black in here. Okay, so there's that, and then we're going to go with the gold on top of that, and then I'm still going to end with some black, and like brown. I'm trying to be quick. I think I could have kept my paints a little thicker, so, but hey, we're um, playing today and learning as we go. Okay, so again, so you don't need, I know that Australian flood flow chalk can be expensive, However, you don't use a lot of it, so a little bit goes a really long way. And you can get this in, um, all over now. You can get it in the U.S., you can get it in the EU, or you can get it in the U.K. And in the EU, while stocks last. <laughs> and, you know, the U.S. and all that has it now, so you can get it at Fluid Art. Dot co. That'll be linked below. Check that out. I'm probably going to lose that copper. I should have probably made my cell activator a little bit more thick. Although I think with the black underneath, it might. That's cool. Okay, in my holes. So we'll see. Now I have to think. Do I do another one here? Yes, let's do it. Um, yeah, so you don't need a lot of the flow troll to use as a cell activator and it's more readily available in the U.S. and other parts of the world now since the bloom technique came out because everybody wants it so yeah however again try painting water if you don't feel like um or you know you can't get your hands on it just try painting water I need to hurry up I don't know. Do I need to hurry up? We just take our time. That is cool. Hopefully this looks nice when I stretch it. We'll see. Okay, and this is going to be the last swipey because I'm running out of um, some of them colors. And some more black. Okay, and it's actually, I'm okay with that copper kind of sinking in the swipes because I'm still getting really cool cells. And some really cool lacing that'll show up. Um, but there's a lot of copper in the ring pour, so it's it's grand. Again, see, I'm using all that cell activator and we still have loads left. So again, it's not I wanna kinda go this way, so I'm going to no, I'm not gonna disturb it. Let's just go. That's 
what I should have done. Just scrape that. Okay, I think we're going to pour or start stretching. I may put in some little bits with my smaller, you know, kind of make some designs, but I'm going to start stretching it right now and just see what's going to happen. I am going to try, I only have a little bit of this paint left. So I just want to um, kind of make sure not everything rolls over itself. Then again, I don't want, I don't want those colored like pearly cells if that's what happens. Let's just throw some more copper on there. As I said, there's too much copper, but most of this will hopefully just get poured off. You know what I mean? So we're going to go slow because I don't want everything to go wonky and crazy. I like this part the most. So I'm probably going to try and cover these, this side first. And then hopefully that'll stretch into this and then we'll lose some of this. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to stop talking for a second and make sure you guys can see at the same time. So now I'm going to go for this corner, okay? But you want to make sure you know where your, the weight of your paint is when you're tilting, okay? And now my paint's starting to fold over itself, which I didn't really want, so... Hopefully you guys can see that. It's crazy. <laughs> it's really busy. But um, let's keep going. Okay, I'm going to go for this side next. So there's the way you can see it all moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And then... Again, I think this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas deep edge. I'm not sure if I said that. And I have lots of air bubbles in there. Finally, let's go for this corner. It's definitely not as cool as Molly's, but I don't think it's too bad for a first go. So let's see. Sorry, you guys, you can't see. I just got to get that paint back. Let me just breathe now. Woo! Okay, I'm going to take these gloves off and get some new gloves. Otherwise, I'll start dripping paint everywhere. I really like the black that's running through that. It gives it so much depth. Um, whew, okay, breathe. Gloves. Um, and I also wanted to say, guys, thanks for everybody who's ordered spinners. I think I have about seven left. Get seven or eight. So until I get new stock, new stock will be here soon, however, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yes, yeah, so thanks to everybody who's uh, ordered spinners. I do have my email address below. It's ericahughesart at gmail.com if you're interested in one. Um, they're 14 inch spinners. Fluid art spinners. And I will ship anywhere. You just let me know where you are and I'll send you a shipping price. I know shipping is kind of crazy anyways, international shipping. Um, just as a whole in general these days, shipping is just nuts. But um, I'll ship. As long as you're paying for shipping, I will ship it. And I try and get you guys the best shipping price as I can. I don't just, you know, and get there as quick as, as quick as I can, possibly. Okay, so I've torched. Loving this. I don't know how I feel about this, like, this one there. So I could fix that by doing a little finger dip um, with some black paint, maybe. We'll see. 
Um, love these gold cells. I love the black that's running through it and the gold. All right. So what I'll do is I know I have some sides probably over at some edge over there that I need to touch up. I'll touch that up. Let this continue to develop and I'll bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, guys. So here we have it. I'll take you in for a close up. Lots of cool ghosty cells and some lacing. Lots going on in this. It was a lot of fun to do. And that's what I was looking for today is just a fun pour. Um, I wanted to mix it up for you guys. My inspiration uh, was from Molly, from Molly's Artistry, which I mentioned in the video. Love those like little peekaboo cells. And these ones over here too, these gold ones. Like little eyeballs looking up at you or something. I don't know, but they're cool. I had a lot of air bubbles, as you can see, um, but I got some cool coppery cells coming up from them. So to avoid all those air bubbles, mix a day or if even a few hours ahead of time. Sometimes they could be cool. Sometimes they could be annoying. Um, if it was white paint that I used, it would probably be pretty annoying. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I had a lot of fun with this piece. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and check out my new or check out my other videos. I have lots of videos on my channel. All fluid art, acrylic pouring, all that good stuff. Bloom technique, Dutch pour, straight pours. Please subscribe and comment below them letting me know what you think. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.